Good afternoon, John. Afternoon. How are you today? We're good. Yeah. What are we good. today? Tuesday. Tuesday, and it stopped raining. I see a little bit of sun peeking out over the edge yeah. there, which is nice to see. Well, if it's not raining in England, it soon will be. Yeah. Be a short <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, you've brought in some interesting looking contraption. I have. Explain to me what that's for. Yeah. Well, this is from watching too much YouTube uh, and then going on to auctions. Um, this beast here. Um, it's called a tabby. Well, tabbies are cats, as we know. Apart from torturing small mice and shrews, one thing that tabbies do is see in the dark. Well, this was a British Army tabby. And as you can see, I'll probably guess, it's part of a night vision kit to work with infrared searchlights. And the operator, you can see it's very heavy. Uh, uh, this is a probably vehicle mounted or tripod mounted, but I'm guessing vehicle mounted. Uh, he's putting his head behind here, this, this eye, pa eye patch is here, securing it with a buckle and no doubt plugged in somewhere into his vehicle or batteries. He's being able to get the skill either to uh, uh, maneuver at night or quite possibly um, wrecking the enemy or possibly even call down fire on the enemy. Um, when people talk about infrared in World War II, people all think of the kind of sexy German vampire and owl stuff that they equip panthers and allegedly some MP44s with, uh, allegedly. Uh, and it's all kind of very high tech. But this stuff was used in Normandy in 1944. Uh, the Americans had their own versions as well. The British Army, Canadian Army. Uh, even the Russians had some fairly crude uh, infrared stuff in 1939, if you really look for it. Um, it was considered top secret uh, with the instruction manual with this. There was also a, a manual on how to get rid of it, how to bury it, so the Germans didn't get hold of it. So it was a piece of top, top notch kit. Now, how successful it was, I don't know. Perhaps do some more reading and let me know. Uh, I know that uh, when the Brits used the uh, Chaffee light tank in 1945, and our light tank regiments, uh, the drivers were equipped with this. Uh, for uh, for seeing the enemy at night, but being British squaddies, they just generally turned it off and sent somebody out with a Sten gun instead to have a look, um, because it's a piece of kit and the average squaddie of 1945 didn't really trust kit. Um, but interesting that we had it, and this one cost me 400 quid, which okay, it's 400 pounds, which is quite a lot of money, but they're not making them anymore, <laughs> so. If I do want to resell it, there'll be some other loony out there who'd want to pick it up. But uh, So this goes with my collection, and uh, I'm very proud of having it, actually. It's uh, good to know that well, Tommy Atkins was possibly carrying this around the fields of Germany in 1945. So that's the tabby. It's a very interesting piece of history. I think yeah. so. Yeah. 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 And I did give it to one of my friends who works um, in uh, the defense technologies, shall we say. and. Uh, there's one vital part in here, one vacuum chamber, which has been breached, so they couldn't get it to work again. But it has been in their museum for the last year and a half, so uh, it's uh, it's been shown off. Very interesting. Well, thanks for bringing it in to show us. No, you're welcome.